everybody. This is Dr. Surinder. I am the director of Aesthetics Plus Clinics. Welcome to our channel. Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. So today we are going to discuss something about what is rhinoplasty. Now rhino, rhinoplasty is basically surgery of the nose. Rhino means nose and plasty means doing modifications or modifying the nose. This could be either functional or it could be cosmetic totally. Functional in the form of a deviated septum, breathing difficulties, repeated uh, upper respiratory infections uh, which are causing issues or it could be a cosmetic reason where the nose is either big, small or thick or uh, those are the changes that you might want to get corrected. How do you know that you need a rhinoplasty? Now if you look at the face, uh, it's in nature everything is about balance and anything that is out of balance or out of sync that is when it starts looking out of place and then you know that okay you need something to be corrected you cannot make all the noses look alike okay we are not making uh, barbie doll looks and we are not doing the same thing for everybody and it has to be individualized to what you need it or what your perception or what the changes that you want so that is the art of rhinoplasty, that, that is where the art lies, not in just trying to just cut and stitch. And rhinoplasty is basically where you rework the framework of the nose, the cartilage, the bone and the soft tissue and you're not cutting or doing anything to the skin because anytime you put a knife to the skin or you cut the skin and stitch it up, you're going to leave a scar. So the basic premise of rhinoplasty is try and rework the framework inside, try and do the changes there and then allow the skin to drape and the skin will shrink onto the new framework in the next few months and that is what the procedure entails. And it's usually there are two major uh, types of rhinoplasty, one is a closed rhinoplasty and one is a open rhinoplasty. A closed rhinoplasty is where there are no visible external scars and uh, whereas a uh, open tip or open rhinoplasty is when there is a small scar here under the uh, under the nose and uh, it also heals very well without leaving any major permanent scarring when done properly and as I said that because it is uh, you're doing a rhinoplasty a closed rhinoplasty because you're not making any cuts you're not opening things up so it requires more skill and it requires a good knowledge of what is lying underneath and what changes that you're doing underneath are going to show up on the skin. Whereas an open tip rhinoplasty is better in terms of visualization, you can actually see what it is thing, but because you're dissecting a lot more and you're removing normal attachments which are already there, so the healing process is a little longer and sometimes the edema on the tip. So when do you do an open or a closed? Uh, we do a lot of closed rhinoplasties and we do an open tip only when actually you need to do something to the tip or rework the cartilages a lot only then we try and do an open tip because we like to preserve what nature has already provided as far as possible and then do the necessary changes so that is what it is uh, when you ask us what is rhinoplasty that's a bit of what rhinoplasty is in a nutshell thank you Thank you.